So. Yes. So. Dear partners, dear speakers, dear visitors of our Erasmus Plus CBC virtual fair, we would like to welcome on behalf of the largest international community of the Erasmus generation created under support of the European Union. We are Katrina Zdanova and Svetlana Shitikova, National Erasmus Plus Office in Ukraine, working together with you and hosting the session devoted to the political, social and economic science group number one. New slogan of the Erasmus Plus is It All Starts Here. So let's hope that your new page in Erasmus would start after the inspiration by three prominent capacity building project results achieved in this field. We would like to start by the insights of these three project teams' achievements and after we hope to have the time for question and answer and discussion. But first, let us remind some home rules. Each of the speakers will have 15 minutes for presentation. During the session, you're able to write your questions to the chat and question and answer section. The host will voice your questions and you will receive answers from speakers. After the event, all presentations will be available on the website of the CBC Virtual Fair. And please do not forget, we are already online streaming via Facebook and YouTube channel. So meet the teams of the EU-funded Erasmus Plus program projects and let's discover how Erasmus Plus have changed lives and higher education. I would like to give a floor to the team of the post-crisis journalism in post-crisis Libya, a bottom-up approach to the development of a cross-media journalism master program projects. So please, dear speaker, the floor is yours. So, let me just... Yes. Okay. So, um, thank you very much um, to have us uh, with you today. Uh, my name is uh, Adel Diaf, the Director of International Cooperation Office at the University of Tripoli, Libya. Three months ago, I received interesting information that PAGES has been selected as a good practice project to be presented in this event. What's the good news? Later on, I have been I have been more excited to be selected to present this project. I have been involved personally in the project since I know how it is important to for improving the higher education system in Libya. Also, I know very well how the project well designed and implemented in Libyan universities. That's what I am going to tell you today during this session. Bages aims at contributing to the modernization of higher education sector in Libya through a bottom-up approach for the design and pilot of master courses in cross-media journalism. Funded by European Commission under the umbrella of Erasmus Plus Capacity Building in Higher Education, the project started in 15 of January 2019 to 14 of January 2022 and expected to be extended up for 12 months. The project coordinated by Yulma University of Milan, Italy, uh, there are um, uh, several, uh, some universities from, uh, uh, from uh, Europe side, the Unimed, University of Granada, University of of Evora, uh, Spinza University of Rome, Italy. Then we have from Libyan side, of course, University of Tripoli, CERT University, Misrata University, and Zawiya University. The impact of the project will be exchanging best practice in the field of higher education between Europe, European and Libyan partners increasing knowledge of staff through mobility and training, uh, also establishing four multimedia labs in univers Libyan University to reach better outcomes, uh, as well as following knowledge sharing approach to establish curriculum in cross-media journalism, also set up and offering of master program in cross-media journalism in four Libyan universities. 
there are seven work packages in the project. So the first one is about lesson learning and training framework led by UNIMED. The second one is about design of master program led by University of Zawiya. Uh, the third one is about training of trainers and multimedia labs led by University of Evora. And the, uh, the fourth package is about master course offering led by University of Tripoli. The work package five is about quality evaluation led by University of Grenada. And the work package number six is about dissemination and exploitation led by CERT University. The last one is about management led by Yuma University. So now I will sum up the project results that have been achieved so far. According to the first work package, we have done some activities related to lesson learned and training. Baseline analysis was carried out to examine of the current situation in order to identify the starting point of the project, overview of Libyan partners at institution levels, each Libyan university involved in a baseline survey to identify the opportunities and challenges for the establishing establishment of the master program. Also, initial findings have been discussed with the partners at the kickoff meeting in Milan, Italy, to open discussion uh, in order to allow the involved partners to validate the results and findings as well to share additional insights. An awaited biography performed for the most relevant scientific contributions in the fields of cross-media journalism, then used comparative perspective with Spanish and Portuguese world, as well as with other crisis situations such as Syria. In order to benefit from similar experience, the result is we have 47 annotated bibliography collected as a part of online repository. Descriptive case studies involving in-depth data collection involving multiple sources of information. The topic of the cases is digital journalism practices and cross-media journalism teaching with fo focus on the most advanced and internationally recognized offers. Consider the following phases. The first one is nomination of case studies, then selection process and gathering the case studies, then be refused, editing and publication. And the result is 15 cases nominated by the partners nine cases studies provided and be reviewed by partners using a range of sources. Um, Semi-structured interviews with expert, experts have been carried out. These interviews included set of predefined questions, strong narrative element, multiple languages and recorded, video consent and release also qualitative analysis. As a result, we have 24 expert interviews. Qualitative insights. Empowering new journalists with necessary skills for detecting fake news and deconstruct, deconstruct extremist messages on multiple social media platforms, also growing importance of visual journalism, uh, concentrate on ethic guidelines, journalists and journalism as peacekeepers, the role of peace journalism, digital skills and equipment, writing, reporting, marketing, the mobile first strategy, also citizen journalism, risks and opportunities. They Report titled Journalism in Libya, a cross-media perspective, is the result of study that was carried on within an pages project. The, the report was 
produced by partners of the Pages project and edited by staff at UNIMED with significant contributions made by experts, interviewees in journalism and journalism education. The full report available online for download. Now let us move to work package two, which is about design of master program. Professors from all partners universities contributed to the development of curriculum for the new master courses in cross-media journalism, then the master will be offered in four Libyan universities for Tripoli, Serg, Zawiya, and Masrata, after it has been approved by the National Center for Quality Assurance and Accreditation of Education and Training Institutions at the Libyan Ministry of Education. Uh, when it comes to the work package three, training of trainers and multimedia labs, for the multimedia labs, after the analysis of technical requirement for each Libyan university, equipment items were delivered in September 2021, and we are going to install and set up all the labs. Due to the uh, precaution associated with the corona pandemic, online training was carried out. The first one is titled Cross-Media Journalism, a learning journey exploring journalism in the digital age. It was for 18 hours during from 26th of September 2020 to 18th of Janu January 2021. During the training, we used methods, a synchronized method, which is depend on the pre-recorded lectures videos and podcasts and transcripts also we provide journal articles for the trainees uh, also provide form for discussion a synchronized one which is carried out mainly by zoom each monday four pages for lectures carried out for meet up discussion with the module experts for expert webinars run to local learning circles that allows us to analyze data related to participants themselves, who, particip who is the participant, from which partners, what about their English levels. We can do assessment through the platform and we can know which device used during the training. So that will allow us to have a good picture about the training. So we use platform which allow participants to get easily online resources and their work and activities can be evaluated and assessed. Online resources such as module, abstract in English and Arabic, 28 pre-recorded lectures, six podcasts, course glossary and reading material. So when it comes to cross-media journalism master courses, we are going to we are going to start the semester program soon. So uh, University of Cert, the 15 we have 15 students enrolled. University of Tripoli recruitment has started. University of Zawiya, 25 students have applied for the master. The University of Misrata, the fall semester, we will be delayed a little bit because of coronavirus. So we, we can see a lot of demand from the student to join the program. So finally, um, we really appreciate the rule that European partners and European Union play alongside the European universities. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear speaker. Thank you for your presentation. Please, dear participants, you're welcome to write your question to this project team via chat or question answer session. And now I would like to give a floor to the second project representatives of the Curriculum Development Joint European Political Science MA project. Please, uh, Mr. Franz. 
Hello, the floor hi. is yours. I'm just uh, I'm just opening the 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 share. Yeah, thank you. The, the file to share the to share the 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 document with you. Of course, this obviously here now works different. Uh, is it possible to share it also? So it's only possible to share a PDF file, right? Uh, you can share both, but if you have PDF, it would be better. So here we are. Uh, Sorry, what I'm, I what I'm see presenting your is a, 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 a. Can you please start? It's just. It's just. Yes, it is just. Uh, the screen shows that it works. We don't see it. Can you please close it and start? Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, this yeah, is a technical issue. Yeah, thank you very much. Here we are. Fine. Yeah, please. Uh, so what I what I'm telling you is the story of a, a POSIC word, let's say, political science integration and governance. That the joint master program established following um, a capacity building project uh, we did. Uh, from 2015 till 2017. So my presentation now is much a little bit more about the results and the way how we uh, then than the way how we did. The title of the project was Joint European Political Science MA Europe's. That's the project title. Uh, uh, I hope that my co-presenter Aneta Cekic from uh, Cekic from University of uh, Skopje will join us. Anyway, she's fighting with the internet at home. She has told me. So. The, the the project uh, was was performed rather successfully, I can say. Uh, I just want to skip now to the next. Uh, the background uh, from University of Salzburg as coordinating institutions regarding internationalization was rather broad. We were the first uh, Austrian university participating in the Erasmus world together with the University of Constance. We are actually managing an Erasmus Network EU pr platform where all political science departments, one can say, from, from, from Europe unified in, in one platform. Anyway, um, uh, development in Southeastern Europe was on the, our focus already for a long time. We did a number of, um, of capacity building projects based on Austrian development monies in the, in the Western Balkan region. So finally, uh, the mobility programs uh, with partners, uh, universities in the Western Balkan region um, made us optimistic to start a, a capacity building project we did finally uh, successfully apply for in 2014 and we have performed in the in the years uh, 2015 piece uh, until 2017. Um, the, the project was a very multilateral project we had partners uh, from uh, you know, from from uh, from uh, from partner countries uh, in in Slovenia so University of Ljubljana from from Skopje uh, in North Macedonia, also from Italy, which is not listed here, because Italy finally could not implement the, 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 the results of the project, the accreditation of a joint master degree, because of technical and, and legal reasons in Italy. Uh, what I can tell you now, what happened since that is that we, of course, have implemented the, the, the program, actually preparing the inclusion of University of Belgrade, Pristina in Montenegro into the accreditation and the consortium um, which which might show that that obviously the success of the of the of the program in the region of the western balkan um, is is continuing we had two partners from albania two partners from bosnia two from from kosovo uh, yes uh, beside the western balkan focus the idea to to establish a, a joint master program in political science on integration and governance, political science integration and governance. So on the one side, the capacity to behave outside, small countries have need capacities to integrate themselves in, in markets, in the, in the bigger environment of, of their regions. On the one side, on the other side, to build up capacities for good governance. Uh, this, is, this is the challenge many, many countries have in, in, in previous transformation regions or still transformation region, let's say, uh, and we therefore have also a number of associate partners uh, actually uh, in, the, in the Black Sea region like Georgia, Armenia, uh, the Ukraine, but also Central Asia and uh, interestingly to say 
that, that Latin American countries also interested in that in that knowledge to manage and organize this challenge of outside orientation and inside capacity of small country as a as a focus for political science uh, education. Uh, the, 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 one of the essential points is that the, the master program we have developed, first of all, was not, from beginning, was not defined as a, let's say, interdisciplinary master that's, that's, that's open for students from different bachelor backgrounds, but explicitly was, was, uh, it was planned to establish a, a qualification level seven education uh, for political science. That means that students need to have already the competences from uh, from bachelor programs in political science or inter in, or international relations with a certain amount of methodology teaching in that field as well. So this was a rather rather specific uh, interest and 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 uh, anyway uh, it was interesting for us to see that that uh, that that we could not only develop the curriculum uh, in, with that intentions but also could establish actually now the fifth cohort of students uh, following that following that program. Uh, the other, the other aspect is that the ambition was to establish a master program covering all fields and all dimensions of political science. So not only a 20% field out of the out of the broad of the broad responsibility of the academic discipline, but uh, let's say a um, uh, uh, master program that includes the normative side to political theory, comparative politics, uh, international relations, public administration and policy regarding the implementation, but also the very specific integration approach following from European integration, from the European integration model. Uh, the labor market relevance, of course, uh, was seen from beginning, it was in a strong focus. Uh, we implement that with an internship, uh, with an internship students have to do, uh, where we um, put much emphasis on the, on the, on the, um, on the uh, connection between the internship and the master thesis projects the students have to perform. Uh, this is a very, very, very clear focus of our work. And in the in the supervision of the master thesis projects, by the way, one supervisor from 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 partner countries, one supervisor from program countries, we take care of that very specially. Uh, this is the structure you see the five the five dimensions of politics as I have mentioned before. Uh, students are uh, allowed to choose two out of these five uh, specializations uh, as their field of specialization. Uh, they have to do some additional um, uh, obligatory courses in methodology education. That's a very strong focus. We see that the bachelor programs uh, in the region and in in the in in the students are. Uh, the students bring with them uh, in many cases do not uh, fulfill our requirements from the bachelor level uh, pre-qualification so that's 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 an issue we several students we only can accept with 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 conditions to do some additional uh, methodology teaching another thing is that that uh, we, we we very clearly put a strong focus on the master thesis and master thesis defense all together with about 30 ECTS Students at the same time have the opportunity to widen their fields of specialization with additional courses of 24 CTS. So anyway, this was this was the basic the basic structure of, of how we will organize how, how we organize then the curriculum uh, and uh, we jointly developed this 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 idea uh, uh, to allow alumni finally to to have not only expertise on the on the Western Balkan political situation where we recruit our students where they usually bring already a, a bachelor in international relations or or political science with them so when they when they arrive in the master program they in some way already experts in in in, in that field uh, from the qualification level six but uh, we very clearly uh, focus then on, on the thesis research and the preparation to, to individual uh, thesis research uh, ambitions uh, for the master for the for the master thesis. So the 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 way how we how we want to equip uh, um, um, our alumni in some way can be easily described as 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 uh, take picking up the competences they receive from the from the from the home region and combining with combine it with the with the advanced uh, requirements for, for, for European qualification level seven research oriented student oriented student centered uh, research activities uh, uh, in the master program. The professional fields, this is very interesting. These were these were the goals as we have as we as, as I have listed it here, you know, in 
public, local, national institutions, international organizations. I, 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 on, to make it short, what we see at the first alumni actually now, we have about 15 alumni up to now, uh, is that they are exactly feeding and, and going the directions we, we have planned uh, and we, we and, and show that they obviously um, are, are, are enabled to do, to do what we have planned for them. Uh, as I said before, uh, the didactic approach is rather student-centered, and this is, of course, an, 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 a challenge very often. Students from bachelors used to follow a very clear and, and strict um, um, plan and, and, and steps for education. Uh, in, our, in our case, they have to start from beginning their individual career. They have to develop their own qualification profiles. This is a huge ambition we had put into the curriculum on the one side and we still have to deliver now from student cohort to student cohort from the first term so when they arrive for the first year in salzburg they do the first year in salzburg the second year they do at the balkan partner universities uh, uh, their first challenge is that uh, uh, we want to know from the first term what is what is what are the the preferred one or two topics or field of research they want uh, they want to uh, uh, they want to do their master thesis, you know. So this is the this is this is what many students not expecting at that time. But what we can see is that the multilateral management and also the student manage multilateral student management self management uh, is working well. So students have to attend at, at at least at two universities, as most of them do. But we see that about one third of you, of students still already uh, choosing for for at least three universities. So they, they, they do the first year in Salzburg and, and go then to different partner universities from the Balkan regions where they select the topics and the teachers for supervision of the master thesis. So that's, that's work, that works obviously um, quite, quite well. Uh, all all uh, universities attended by a student for at least one term uh, finally give also the, the, the participate in the joint degree giving. So this is the, the essential criteria. For, for joint programs. Uh, at the same time, there's one element maybe interesting. On the one side, we, div we divided very strict measures for the management of the joint program. Uh, on the other side, we established a kind of, of, of competition uh, um, between the partners of the second year to attract students going there, to receive, to receive students and uh, to participate in the joint degree giving. Uh, yeah. I do not want to go to the details of that, but as you can imagine, with a with a, in a consortium with with nine universities from six countries, it's necessary to have a strict model for 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 the management and also for the program management as we do it here. And we can say that the coordinator sport, where persons in in charge for academic but also administrative coordination, that's a very interesting combination, I think, uh, uh, are in the center of these of these of these of these of these structures. Uh, assisted by a quality port and, and the student port. Uh, when we when we when we look to the to the students' career, as we see it here, technically uh, expressed in what we name an examination book, uh, uh, students collecting their their deciding about their field of specializations and collecting their the the courses uh, uh, recognized for that for that positions and published in the programs of the partners. Finally, finally, add also the optional courses and the the the, 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 the master thesis title and 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 supervisors to end up with a with a with a joint degree. I uh, here here to get how we get it. Here we get it. Uh, as you see here, I, I announced here Franz Josef Koch, which is me, uh, to to get the joint master degree from four universities. Uh, Franz Koch was doing the first year in Salzburg and Ljubljana, the second year in Tirana, and in. In, uh, in, in Sarajevo, so four universities give the joint master degree in political science, integration, and governance, as, just as an example. Uh, maybe important for you and interesting also for the, for the capacity building idea is that uh, I think we, we, are the first, we are the first multilateral consortium developing cu curriculum for a joint master, which received uh, European accreditation based on the on the Yerevan um, uh, uh, declaration 2015. That means that one, one anchor member, it was Aku Austria who accredited the, the joint master program, uh, did that. Uh, we followed their DSG standards for program accreditation as it's normal in the Bologna world, let's say. Uh, but um, but uh, 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 the, the challenge in fact was that uh, we, we really had also implement the, the, the accreditation of the consortium by Aku Austria in the member countries. Uh, 
Um, this was a challenge because uh, it was in some way just, let's say, uh, an example how European integration might work, but also how Bologna sometimes works. Uh, um, uh, Bologna ministers go to a meeting uh, at, at every second year. They sign a document, uh, but finally the results of the documents are not always proper implemented in the country. So it was in, in, in some way also a challenge for us not only to formally receive European accreditation, but also to implement it in the in the in the in the, in the six countries. Uh, and uh, uh, it might be maybe maybe who is interested in that. I, I can I can send also an article we are planning now as a let's say political science reflection of what happened uh, regarding the Bologna process in the, in the country with our project. So the project the project's aim. Uh, the Europe's project's aim were implemented successfully with POSIC now. We are in the fifth implementation of, of the fifth student cohort now. It runs well. Um, uh, the aim was to establish such joint program. We received very strong support by, by this European accreditation approach. It was a historic, funny situation, you should know. Uh, we applied for the project in 2014. Uh, in, in 2015, in May 2015, uh, the Bologna ministers decided about the European approach accreditation. We started with implementation in October 2015 and were the lucky ones who could, uh, who could implement a Bologna declaration uh, agreement that not even was half a year old, you know. <laughs> so this was the really lucky situation. The, the success, of course, I think came from, from, the, from, the, from the very careful selection of partner institutions from the fact that these partners already have been known for about five, five no, five, ten, even, sometimes even 15 years, so from student and staff exchanges. So we knew with whom we we're working. Um, and 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 we therefore, we therefore could establish, let's say, kind of uh, epistemic community in the region uh, about, about these fields of political science. This was a very important thing, uh, I think, uh, finally. Uh, the working method, well, method was very clearly inclusive. So we 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 involved ninety professors from the from the participating institutions to participate in not online but real person workshops. You know, for for at least one time, and each workshop was organized for at least two weeks. Two weeks. So professors had not only working time together, but also shared spare time together. So this, to, to socialize the people, to, to, to build up the, the, the bounds necessary to implement the project finally successfully was, was something that happened. And uh, I can say I was lucky as coordinator, not only because the work I had to do, but also because of the fact that, that, that all, all these, let's say 19 academic individuals um, um, and we, I, 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 we all know what, what I'm speaking about. Uh, followed the invitation and, and participated. What were the innov innovative elements? I already mentioned European accreditation. I'm already at the end. This is the last, uh, uh, the last, the last uh, slide. Uh, the challenge was the implementation of these European accreditation results. Of course, this was a challenge, but this was more or less not a project challenge, but it was a political challenge in the, in the, in the participating countries. The other thing is that uh, we can see that um, capacity building obviously can have uh, um, an, not only an impact on the political, on, on the on the on the on the academic capacity of the institutions involved, but also at the countries uh, they they are they are working in. And yes, yeah, sustainability is nice. Uh, um, of course, uh, it is complex to manage. Anyway, that's it. That's it from my side. Uh, the bridge building idea we could establish there on the Western Balkan. You should know that institutions uh, um, after the Western Balkan War uh, have stopped collaboration in many fields in, academ in, 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 in academia. And I think we could, we could build up there a new, a new bridge, let's say, between the young generation, especially of the academics there. And uh, I, cannot, I cannot end without showing you the faces of students going to the program uh, because they are finally the one uh, who should receive the benefits and the results of our work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. Dear participants, do not forget to write your questions into the chat or question answer session, because I think that we will try to have a time for communication after the presentations. So uh, the last but not the least, 
I would like to welcome the team of the Gender Studies Curriculum, a step for democracy and peace in EU neighboring countries with different traditions projects. Please, dear team, the floor is yours. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Natalia Majikenia. I'm coordinator of the project, and it's a big pleasure for me uh, to present results of our project. And uh, for all our team, it is a big uh, honor to be among the projects uh, who can present their um, practice. And we are happy that we are among uh, projects uh, who present the best practices. Our project started in 2015 and duration was three years with extension. And um, uh, the project is dedicated to uh, inc incorporation and uh, inclusion of gender element into master programs. Uh, next slide, please. And the, the, the project, uh, aimed to, um, uh, to uh, develop, to um, revise existing master programs in uh, uh, humanities and social sciences. And um, uh, project uh, partners uh, were from Morocco, Tunisia and Ukraine. Next slide, please. The consortium consisted of three uh, groups of partners. The first group um, um, is uh, um, European Union countries, coordinating institution uh, Vitotas Magnus University in Lithuania, then uh, Aristotle University of Thessaloniki in Greece, Central European University, uh, then uh, three universities from Ukraine, and uh, four universities from Morocco and uh, Tunisia. Two universities from Morocco and two universities from Tunisia. Next slide, please. And uh, the idea of the project uh, implied to incorporate uh, courses on gender studies uh, uh, content into existing master program. Uh, at the same time, we created new master programs in gender studies in Arabic countries. One master program in gender studies was created in uh, Tunisia and one program on gender studies was created in um, Morocco. Uh, in the uh, project proposal, we planned that we will uh, uh, revise uh, uh, seven study programs, but in the end, we were able to revise nine program and programs and create uh, two new ones. Also, we um, uh, created new or revised uh, uh, courses, and th these courses were piloted during the project. We wrote uh, 21 textbooks and guides, also, uh, our uh, scholars, uh, teachers, uh, uh, and students uh, wrote academic books uh, and um, special issues of journals. Um, our uh, outcomes uh, exceeded uh, what we planned in our uh, project proposal. And I would like to give a floor to uh, Ukrainian partner Olga Avraminka, uh, who will present uh, uh, outcomes of um, Ukrainian universities. Olga? Mm -hmm. I, I shall show the presentation, it's some technical problems. Yes, we see the presentation, Olga. Everything's okay. okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, uh, dear colleagues, uh, on behalf of the Ukrainian team of the JEST project, I am glad to welcome all participants of Erasmus Fair. First of all, I thank the organizers for a great opportunity to show the result of our work. The Ukrainian part of the consortium consisted of three universities, each of uh, which had its own specific task. 
which was related to the implementation of new and improved gender courses in existing master programs. Thus, the Central Ukrainian uni University has developed courses for the master program education measurements. Nizhen University implemented its courses on political science, and the Prikarpatian National University carried out similar work on psychology. Uh, this slide uh, presents the courses that were developed in three universities on the master programs I have already named. Each of courses became a normative part of the master programs which corresponded to the recommendation of our European colleagues. Uh, they have developed the concept of gender studies based on monitoring existing educational programs in the European Union. Thus, all our materials are developed according to European standards. At the very beginning of the project, we were able to purchase new equipment and software, and now we use the equipment in departments and classrooms. During our project, we together have organized three international schools, two conference and forum in Morocco, Ukraine and Tunisia, and three internships in Lithuania, Hungary and Greece. As a male result, we were able to recruit students for gender updated master programs, prepare them and graduate specialists familiar with gender issues. Ukraine has received psychologists, uh, political scientists and educational analysts who are capable of doing research on gender issues. During uh, the implementation of the project, we have established contacts with many stakeholders. Now we continue to familiarize the public in different regions of Ukraine with how to solve gender problems. It is very important that representatives of different profession, professions are interested in gender equality issues. I would like to know that uh, some of our students serve in army and even under uh, contract in areas of hostilities. They study on an individual basis and carry out master thesis related to gender in the military. Also, we have prepared all courses in online form in the Moodle system and they came in great handy in 2020 and 2021 when the whole world was covered by pandemic. So I am sure the JGS project has made a significant contribution at every level from the individual to the all Ukrainian and international ones. We Ukrainians look forward to the cooperation in the Erasmus Plus project. In particular, we would like to create a joint dual master program on gender. Now I'm pleased to convey the words to my colleague, Professor Sawat Slowly from Morocco. Please, Sawat, I pass the button to you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Olga. I'm pleased to be part of this uh, event and present the results of the JESS project uh, in both Morocco and Tunisia. My name is Suhaj Sidawi. I'm a professor at Sidi Mohamed Mabdilla University, Faculty of Letters and Human Sciences, and I'm Hales. I'm the coordinator of the guest projects from the 2015 to 2019 at the level of my university. And I'm here to represent the two Moroccan universities, the University of Sidi Mohamed Abdilla in Fez and Sidi Mohamed Sultan Moulay Sliman University in Bediminlal and the two Tunisian university in Sousse uh, and Manuba. The, uh, the next slide, please, Olga. The JEST project in this region aimed at updating syllabi. Please, Olga, the next slide. Yeah. Just a second. I'm sorry, we have some technical issues. Okay. Uh, yes. The next slide.
Yeah. Yes, this one, next one, please. Yes, thank you, Olga. The JEST project in this region aimed at updating syllabi of courses in gender studies. In the Cultural Studies Master Program in FAS, two courses were updated, Gender and Religion and Women in Diaspora. A new course, Gender and Development, was created in Beni Millal, as uh, mentioned by uh, the, co the, the JEST coordinator, uh, a new master program was created and 17 new courses in gender studies were introduced in 2017. Slide, next slide, I'll get, uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, in, in the university, uh, no, no, the previous one please, in the University of Manuba, to, uh, Tunisia, the master program sports, yes, sports and physical education, there were five syllabi and a number of courses were modernized, including the gender component. In Seuss University, a new MA program in economics and political sciences was created. Next, pro, uh, next slide, uh, Olga, please. Yeah, uh, during the project, Moroccan and Tunisian teachers and managers had the opportunity to participate in a number of international conferences, summer schools, internships in Morocco, Tunisia, Ukraine, Lithuania, Hungary, and Greece that developed us, uh, that it helped us develop and promote and foster our gender pedagogy among faculty members and improve the teaching of gender studies and prepare master programs in gender studies. Next slide, Olga, please. The equipment provided by the JEST project helped, helped us as teachers as well as uh, students, as, as our students to improve the teaching of gender studies and develop the students' research and academic skills and competences research and academic skills and competences in the field and to raise their awareness to, toward different issues and equip them with the necessary knowledge and skills to allow them to be agents of change capable of promoting gender equality in their countries. The equipments along the trainings we received in the Moodle platform in Ukraine, Tunisia, and Lithuania helped us to foster teaching practices overall and not only in gender studies courses, but also in other courses that we teach at the BA and the MA levels. We were introduced to gender pedagogy, to new teaching, uh, to new teaching practices and to the use of Moodle platform, which helps us a lot during the COVID and the sudden switch to online learning. I personally taught gender and development course in a blended way using Moodle, and I'm still using it up to now. Next slide, please, Alga. Throughout these projects, we gained a lot. We conducted research and practiced and participated in different conferences. And we also involved, we were also involved in, we also involved our MA and doctor students in the publication of different articles dealing with different issues in the field of gender uh, studies, like gender equality, sexual education, gender and political, the role of gender studies in instilling democracy in academia, among many others. The JESS team from Morocco, Morocco and, uh, Alde, and Tunisia each come, came out with, the next slide uh, please, Olga. Yeah. The uh, JESS team from Morocco and Tunisia each came out with the publication of the teaching materials, uh, uh, materials for academic, for students in the form of textbook like I, what you see here in this slide, we have publication, as uh, Natalia mentioned, of 31 uh, the textbooks and guides and database of the text issues still used in the master programs involved in all the JESS pro, uh, projects. Uh, next slide, please, Alga. Equally, a number of summer schools, international conferences uh, were held in U.S. in University of Sidi Mohammed Abdullah, University of Sultan Mouray Sliman University, Sus and Manuba University, ended up by publishing the proceedings, 
the proceeding of international conferences in FES, Benim, Las, Suez, and Manuba in collaboration with our European Union partners in the JEST projects. The last slide, please, Olga. Uh, most importantly, we had, uh, we had the opportunity to travel and to visit different countries to discover different cultures and traditions. Thanks to the JEST project, we met amazing people who have become friends and not just colleagues, with whom we still have exchanges and mobility program to, of both teachers and doctoral students now for the academic year 2021-2022. During this project, nothing mattered to us all but the project and how well we could execute it the way we could, and which I believe we did. The second revised courses of the new course are still taught to up to now at the Moroccan uh, Cultural Studies Master Program in FES, in Beni Milal, and in all other uh, uh, partners' master programs. Uh, also, as you can see from the last slide, which shows a testimony from previous cohorts about the importance of those gender studies courses included in the master program at the University of Fez. This testimony is very motivating. It shows that the impacts of the project are quite visible on our students and the career they choose once finishing their master program. Some of them are now working in the, uh, in the Ministry of International Affairs, others are working with the international networks, and others are preparing their doctoral degrees in, uh, on some issues related to gender studies. To conclude, I highly encourage faculty members to participate in Erasmus program. If you have the opportunity to join the Erasmus program, please do. It's a wonderful and amazing journey and a rewarding experience in so many ways. Thank you. Thank you very much. Natalia, do and, you have something? Yes, and summarizing, I would like to emphasize that the project uh, promoted the uh, collab collaboration of uh, scholars and academics, teachers and students from uh, different regions and allowed to understand uh, differences uh, of gender uh, construction, how gender is constructed differently in different historical, cultural, economic contexts. And at the same time, uh, uh, the project uh, um, allowed uh, uh, more than 250 graduates to enter um, labor market and to, to become uh, professionals uh, who combine understanding, uh, combine their professional competencies with understanding of gender. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, as far as understood, you have finished the presentation, yes? Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, dear speakers, for your openness and readiness to share your results and to constant development of internationalization and the quality of higher education, connecting different countries and cultures and making us closer to the European Union. So we have extra time to, for question and answer session. And I have a few one for all or three of the projects. I would like to start with the JEST project, the last one who presented the presentation. So the question is, what are you proud of the most if you look back to the achieved results? Please. Yeah, can I answer, please? Can I answer? Yes, welcome. Katarina? Yeah. Yes, uh, I would say that uh, the JEST progress, uh, project was a great opportunity to the Moroccan teams, and I am very proud of uh, working and collaborating with amazing peoples and uh, who managed to build up a wonderful epistemic community and also to have very good relationship. On the top of that, of whom I can cite the coordinator of this, uh, this uh, uh, project, uh, Natalia, uh, who did a wonderful job to put us all together to work, so to work together. And we all, they are all, all of us were very hard working and we are knowledgeable and smart colleagues who are very eager and interested and nothing matters to them but to make the project success succeed. And I'm very proud of that. And another 
important thing uh, concerning the textbook that we produce. This textbook uh, on gender, uh, diaspora and gender and development was uh, a unique in my country. It was the first type of textbook to be published at the university level and at the master level. And I'm very proud to be uh, to be part of this project and to publish this textbook, which uh, uh, which we are using in master in our master classes, and we are diffusing it in all Moroccan universities, and from which they are getting inspired. Okay, thank you so much. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Catalina. We can't Thank hear you very you. much. Sorry, I have forgotten to switch yeah. on my microphone. Yeah. I have a, okay. the next question to Mr. Franz on uh, the European uh, project. So, uh, what were the most valuable results of your project for the students? Well, for the students, it's uh, the opportunity to widen the, the 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 teaching the teaching experience they have. Uh, and we, we 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 have the opportunity to bring them abroad. Uh, one of the one of the elements very often I could now by students is that 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 they say they go abroad, uh, did their bachelor maybe with with one term mobilities to somewhere, but meet now uh, the students from all over the neighborhood in Salzburg. So the Salzburg time is for them important not only because of Salzburg. But actually, we have 48 Erasmus incoming students in political science, uh, half of them in the master level. And therefore, this experience is, is very important for the students. But I think it is the same the same you would hear from the lecturers. So the, the, the impact on the teachers going to the trainings and, and, uh, and participating in the trainings in the, during the project time is finally that they build up networks that are expanding now uh, and many, many of them made careers. So several of them were nominated to the project as a postdoc assistant, let's say, or or or, or assistant, and uh, and and half of them, uh, meanwhile, in professor positions. So we had a huge impact on the career of the of the of the of the young faculty members, let's say, and we cultivate that also constantly with connecting students and students in Salzburg and the professors from the consortium to an annual teacher. Uh, teacher academy, as we name. This had another side effect as well. This is that we are inviting to this teacher academy not only a political science teacher from the POSIC network from the Western Balkan region, but also from the Black Sea region. So uh, we, we started to learn that the, the conditions for development of the discipline, let's say in Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, or, or, or Ukraine, in some way similar, not similar, but comparable to the ones uh, called the young colleagues found in, in the Western Balkan region. So we can extend also the, this network to other, let's say, political transformation regions uh, uh, in the EU neighborhood. Thank you and very students, much. And also students, students yeah. from yeah. South Caucasus started to apply to POSIC. Uh, we're just uh, celebrating the first uh, degree giving to a student from Georgia and have, have registered uh, two other students from Georgia in the, in the new student cohort, for example. So we're expanding from the Balkans to the Southern Caucasus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Uh, we have some small questions uh, from the participants. Dear participants, please please have uh, pay attention. We have a feed section. We have a messages. You can uh, after our session, you can find speakers and communicate with them directly. Also, um, we have you have a fair booklet and the results platform where you can also find contacts with the project and communicate with them directly for further cooperation with a new Erasmus Plus program for 2021-2027. On also, um, we would like to highlight that there are 60 rooms of opportunities for you today. So 40 of them are thematic rooms and 20 rooms are just for private conversation. Uh, so you're welcome to communicate. And also we would like to conclude with saying that Erasmus Plus is um, a unique opportunity to support educational, professional and personal development and people to people contacts all over the globe, uh, contributing to the higher education quality enhancement and more understanding between people and systems. So we are looking forward to welcome you at the winner's days next year. Stay safe and healthy. Once Erasmus, always Erasmus. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, dear speakers.
Bye.